cuckoo clocks. It nestles peacefully in the valley, surrounded by hills, covered in multicolored blossoms. In fact, the whole countryside was like a carpet of brilliant colors right through to Lake Constance. Looking across from Landau, which is the most southern town in Germany, I met the steamer returning from the Austrian shore, just opposite. And in the distance are the Swiss Alps, so from Lake Constance, you can see three countries at once. Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Just near here is the home of the Graf Zeppelin. I had the pleasure of being shown all over that monarch of the air. Wanting to see this beautiful country, I flew to Munich. The thing that impressed me, apart from the picturesque, was the cleanliness and order of the villagers. The white and pink buildings stand out in vivid contrast to the fields of brown and green. Winding roads and rivers, churches, old castles perched high up on the hills overlooking the town made me want to land and roam through this charming corner of the old world. But Munich called me with its wonderful festival of music. I heard Wagner and Mozart played as never before. Munich dates back from 1158 when it was founded by Henry the Lion. The old walls which surrounded the town were demolished in 1791, but some of the old gates were restored in 1835. Now, we have all heard of the famous clock with its 43 bells and dancing figures. They represent the tournament of 1568. And the dance of the barrel makers, well, here it is, in the old town hall, with the Gothic cathedral, Church of Our Lady, in the distance. It was started in 1468. Oh, Wagnerian performances take place every year in this national theater. It accommodates 2,200 people. The kings and even the dukes of Bavaria seem to have had the right idea about a little place in the country for the summer. And this is their little country shack, Nymphenburg Castle. Garmisch Spartenkirchen. Sounds Scotch, doesn't it? It's just a few miles from that famous village, Oberammergau, the home of the Passion Play. And this beautiful edifice is part of the Benedictine Monastery, where that famous liqueur, Benedictine, is made. Every 10 years in this theater, the passion play is seen by thousands. It was a great pleasure to meet several of the peasants who portray these holy characters. This is the home of the man who portrays Peter the Apostle. 
And right here, in this picturesque square, is the home of the player of the character of Mary Magdalene. And here's Anton Lang's house. He has portrayed the Christus since 1900 on account of the depth of feeling and inspiration with which he imbues that sacred role. What a perfect setting is this peaceful valley for these worthy villagers to mold their lives and prepare for that drama of drama. <laughs> Leaving my friend of the melodious voice, I wandered on and came to this beautiful lake. It is called Ipsy. Reflected in its still waters is the highest mountain in Germany, the Zuspitze, where a small electric train runs up part of the way and the rest of the journey is in a suspended cage which takes you right above the clouds. Looking down from that height, the solid and comfortable old hotel looks like, well, a tiny shack. What a glorious paradise this place really is for sportsmen. The little village church is one of the quaintest I have ever seen. And with the Bavarian Alps as a background, it makes a perfect picture. You know, Sunday is a great day here. It is called Happiness Day. And after church, wandering over the hills, you often come across a group of peasants in their Sunday go meeting clothes, enjoying themselves in their simple way, singing and dancing. <laughs> are a very picturesque and I won't attempt to describe the charming ensemble of the ladies. I might get into deep water, but the men wear leather trousers. <laughs> the ladies, well, you know, the old world grace of these dancers make a striking contrast to some of our modern endurance contests. As I left this happy scene to wander back to my hotel, I could still hear the twang of the zither as the breeze gently carried it over the still waters of the beautiful Ipsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, splendid, splendid. <laughs> <laughs> By golly. By Jimmy. I'm getting just like my old clocks. My insides went hiding to me. <laughs> Hello, honey, 